G'day gang. Now while we go, I'll show you this um, HQ1 tunnel. I'll get it up in the air and do some work on it. I thought I might just give you a look underneath it. You can see what sort of technology came along with the day with uh, 1973. It's got a 253 cubic inch V8. That's the external oil pump. Yeah. <coughs> Fuel pump runs off the camshaft. Fairly, fairly much like a Buick there. Uh, much like a Chevy. Discs on the front. Drums on the back. It's had an engine in it at some point. Because uh, if you look up in here, there's a heat tag, a lead tag. It has had some rust repair done in the past. There's an M20 gearbox. <coughs> these are not factory, these extractors, headers, whatever you want to call them. Got the mouse trap clutch. But just, what is it? Pain in the ass. Uh, I'll put a. Neil, how do you go with the long enough process on that V8 Falcon? For which mate? Well, I've got to start it up. Oh, you did? I'll have to start it up. I'll put some on it, but I have to start it up. The grey on the roof? Yeah. Um, these gear shifts are always an issue. That's right, we got a lot more. Put a new extension housing suit in it. It's proportional well. under this old um, HQ one ton holding. And when I get to the top side, I'll give you a look up there. And if you have a look here at this Salisbury, they use this same housing on all the V8s. Uh, sedans, uh, Trabex utility station wagons, panel vans. The ears are still a, they use the same housing for the sedans. They used they had a, a, a triangulated four link on the sedans and Monaros. And the commercials had the leaf spring. And uh, yeah. So they didn't change too much stuff. It's a really good thing. Anyway, I'll go up the top. So here we are under the bonnet. <coughs> the early, early models would have had a oil filler there. Uh, that's like the 60, 69s. This is 73. Um, they do use a Saginaw pump for the steering. WW2 Stromberg. Uh, lots of things in common with the Chevy. And good old points ignition down in there. Which we're going to change them. And uh, put some spark plugs. If you notice carefully, someone's put a four barrel manifold on that and stepped it back to a two barrel. It would have had a two barrel originally. But, uh, and they do, so they, they, they kindly make the firing order on there so you don't get lost. Anyway. I'm going to finish doing the work on this bugger and then um, fire him up. So I just thought I'd put this in amongst it. While I've got the plugs out, I like to get up on top dead centre and just whack a screwdriver down the plug hole. Wait till he's all the way up. And double check down there to see if the, um, if the timing mark is on. And as you can see, it's a little bit... Um, a little bit retarded there. Uh, probably a couple of degrees from top dead centre. 
and the white mark that you could see, uh, where are we? Come from the boil. That white mark on the time and tag there, well that one there is, whoa! That's where we want to put our timing mark. And um, that's about eight degrees before top dead centre. So when I put when I do the points, I'm going to move that marker back to there. I'll show you that when I get to that bit. Anyway, I'm going to put these plugs in. There, we've got the new set of points in there. If you watch, I've, I've just moved it now. <coughs> like I told you I was going to see. You can see my marking down there. Those two are now lined up. Down in here, so you can get you zoomed in on the picture there. The idea is I've, 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 I've turned this distributor so that when I just make the advancement, they just start and open like that. And that timing should be perfect though, but we will check it with the light and I think it's going to be pretty close. So now I'll just um, tighten the distributor back up, put the, the uh, pigtail wire on there, uh, put the cap on, bit of grease around the cam lobes there and uh, should fire up. Okay well it's all together. Uh, one pump of the, of the gas. See what Check his timing, eh? That was the on button. Yeah, well, we're pretty close there. We might just advance it up a little bit more. Then we'll go on once it's warmed up, set the carburetor and then if all the left just change the oil and the um, and the oil filter and the job's done. Anyway, you know, I don't know whether you found that interesting or not. We've got mixture adjustments under here. Can't do that till it's warmed up. Uh, yeah. It's a bit of, of alright playing around with an old girl. But it's hard to imagine that this is uh, this engine here is Primarily the, the, the backbone of that thing that's in my uh, in my Chevy. But anyway, have a good one, and I'll check you later. Another thing you've got to take into consideration when you're working on old things like this is that this engine was designed to take. Leaded fuel, octane level, way higher than we can buy at the minute. But we've got to kind of work around that a little bit. So you know, you've got to fiddle with timing, plug gaps, and uh, mixtures and things. But yeah, you know, should be fine.